Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and I. And your boy, Stanley. Let me go ahead and put this disclaimer out here. If our color is off, just charge to the fact that I hit something on this camera and I'm not sure what I did, but it's almost like an oven. Yeah. You know when you're unsure, you just put your oven on 350? Mm -hmm. We just selected something and hopefully I'm not too light. If I'm real light skin, it's the camera because I'm brown yeah. as a mug and I love it. <laughs> so... This one is basically you told a lie, you told a lie, we everybody told a lie, lie. everybody, told everybody a lie. lie. House rules, y'all know how we do. No drama in the comment section, no drama with us, no drama nope. with the commenters. We keep it easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. Because hey. we don't do none of that over here. If you act a fool, you get like just it like at the club. Hey. You get kicked out. Yeah. The bouncer called the block button. It's gonna throw you out. And I'm the bouncer. And, hey. I, and I ain't got a problem with fashion. All right, let's get into it. All uh, right, lie to my face. <laughs> All time you will take my place. The yeah. backstabbers. Yes, indeed. You know, ain't no loyalty among thieves. I don't. I don't understand why when people are part of the drug game, the gang, there is no loyalty among thieves. Even though if your boy, or your girl is close, they are gonna some kind of way gonna lie to you. Yeah. You know, they gonna lie about something. Certainly, when their tail is on the line. D so. So we see pretty much picking up where we left off last week. Uh, Ghost them them left jukebox them spot. They up on the metro chain, the what chain now? metro train <laughs> in New York City. So they on their way home. Uh, but the whole time I was thinking, I was like, why is they on the train? And then Ghost calls Tommy and say, you you need to come pick us up and such and such, such and such because Tariq is in trouble. But before that. When they were on the train, did you realize that everybody was looking at them like, What y'all doing? Yeah. And at first I was trying to figure out, I said, okay, I know they had to ride the train from the hood back to their side of town. Yeah. So is it a, uh, what these two black people doing on this train? You know, yeah. that type of thing. But then I looked over, there was another black father and his son on the train and they weren't looking at yeah, them damn. like that. Mm -hmm. And then we realized Tariq got blood right, right there. on his collar. And then I had to remember, in my mind, as my B would say, Ghostface been all over the news for killing. That's all, right. That's probably so, why they were looking at them so like that. So that's why they were looking, looking at, at them like that. that. Yeah. So I was like, for a minute, there, I had to, like, what? Well, why we do that, though? When somebody, we don't see somebody on TV, you see them in public, you be like, yeah. Like, here at Richmond, we was in um, Krogan, we saw the news lady. Oh, yeah. And we lay like this every hour she go, and we like this. And, and it, 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 I'm glad that we saw her, though. Yeah. Because on the news, she looks like a very full-figured woman. Mm-hmm. And when we saw her in person... She was small. She's very small. Mm hmm And I'm like, you know what? That's why I hate cameras. Yeah, that's they don't why let I like you be great. To, that's why I like taking pictures. Because even I look way bigger than what I am on uh -huh. video. And then I'll take a picture of the same freaking video clip. And I'm like, now that's my real size. Yeah. They just so don't want me to be out. great. <laughs> so, Tommy shows up. Like Pinky Drive, like you need to slow that motherfucker down, Tommy. But Tommy gets out, he mad. So they told Tariq to get in the truck and warm up. Of course, you know, he just won't get in the truck and not hear what's going on. He rolled the window down. So Ghost was trying to explain the Tommy. You can't explain nothing to Tommy because he just don't comprehend nothing. <laughs> so but you gotta realize what Tommy just went through. Yeah. Because before Tommy got the call to go over there to where um, Ghost and Tariq was, he went over to his spot and Grimace was still like, yeah. how long Grimace been on that flow, y'all? Yeah, I know he's hungry. I would be like, man, can you at least go get me a Big Mac or something, man? I'm, um, know, I've been tired up for the last freaking four hours. But, but did any of that scene warrant what was really happening? We saw Kanan and Ghost go into the spot. Basically, Ghost hit um, Grimace with a one-two, took him down. But why all of a sudden all these boxes everywhere? Yeah. They all, <laughs> I mean, come on here. And Grimace, he been, he been knocked out this whole time. Yeah. Tommy, don't, Tommy literally went from Chicago yeah. back to, to, to New York. He to don't kill the person on the way, on the way back. Yep. And you still <laughs> on the floor. Yep. Really, Grimace? I'm like, by now, you could have rolled over on your feet and run down the street or something. Man, I just need to get Grimace some cookies and a Happy Meal and just make him feel better. <laughs> so, Ghost trying to explain to him what happened. He said, this is pretty much what happened, long and short. Kanan kidnapped uh, Tariq. And you know that you know that girl, uh, Jukebox? He's like, yeah, I know that crazy chick. 
So it was like they kidnapped him to try to get back at me. And so that's pretty much what happened. And Tommy was like, none of this makes any sense to me. He said, matter of fact, you'd be dead right now if you wasn't you. <laughs> he said, you blew on my spot. You blew, he said, yeah. He said, so you never talked to Tasha about what was going on while you was in the joint? He said, we kind of figured out that something was going on because there was a picture floating around with a burnt arm on it. Yeah. And... We know we tried to get it out of Tariq, you know, is Kanan alive and he wouldn't he say wouldn't that he was. Yeah. And he was like, the whole time, it was Kanan? Mm -hmm. For real? <laughs> and Ghost was like, no, I haven't talked to Tasha. Tasha hadn't told me nothing about none, none of, of that. that stuff right here. So later on, we're going to see that go down. Yeah. Because that's right, because Tommy was still thinking that Kanan was dead. Mm hmm. Yeah. They, they had a little speculation after that picture. But, yeah. But Tariq made it go away. Yep. And they were like, nah, he must be dead. Yep, so Ghost finally makes it home. See Tosh will be like, first thing he asks is, where's the girls? Uh, she said, they fine. They in their rooms. But so, you forgot one part, though. Tommy went over to the window and asked Tariq. Oh, yeah, yeah, he did. He asked Tariq about Kanan. He said, did Dre know anything about Kanan? And I just knew that he was gonna be like, yeah. He I was like, tell the truth. Yeah, he was like, the truth. like he gonna, yeah, he, yeah, he introduced me to Kane. That's how I got up with Kane. He was I like, said, nah, mm -hmm. Dre ain't know nothing about it. I said, <laughs> and Tommy looked at him like, mm-hmm. I don't believe you though. <laughs> but I give you the benefit of the doubt just because you're my nephew and I love you. So, Ghost and Tasha goes in the closet and they get to arguing about Tariq getting kidnapped. So here come Ghost. He played that card. I was like. Why'd you do that, Flesh? He said, you got one job to do, and you couldn't do that. I said, hold on. She was like, uh-uh, no. You ain't blaming all this bullshit on me. <laughs> you was the one that did that to yourself. You the one that got yourself locked up. I was out here doing the best as I could to make sure I got the money for you and for these kids to take care of all this while you out there, there locked up for something that you ain't even doing. And your son been lying for and a you, long yeah, time. And yeah, he been lying. He run around here lying. They are, everybody just crazy. <laughs> I said, you ain't gonna put this bull scared on me. So while you was taking your little dangling and sticking it up over there and, and which car, yeah, <laughs> all of this was falling apart. Yep. And she said, all of this wouldn't happen if you had never left your family. He said, note to self. I didn't leave, leave my family. family. I left, left you. you. I said, and she said, matter of fact, we wouldn't even be going through none of this bull scared with Canaan unless you killed him 10 years ago, like I told you. But by this time, Raina had her ears to the god darn door and she heard it. She was like, <gasps> And my mom and dad kill us for real. But you remember back, I don't know if it ever happened to y'all. I ain't gonna give you no details. What? So my, you know, parents were doing some stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. And when you first learned that your parents is not about fine that life. Yeah, about that <laughs> life like that, man, and you first hear, you be like, <gasps> what in the world? Because, you know, when you're growing up, you know, mom and daddy is perfect. They don't do nothing wrong. But you find out your whole world is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and then when everybody else find out and they start talking about it, be like, how they know that about my mom and my daddy? I don't even know. Uh-huh. And you don't know what's going on under your nose when you're little. Yeah. So, then we see, uh, um, yeah, lost my train of thought, Tasha talking to Raina. So, Raina is asking questions about what's going on. What's going on with Tariq? What's going on with daddy? And she was like, everything is fine, little girl. She was like, fuck that. I'm tired of y'all treating me like a D child. Y'all need, and she was like, you need to let me know what's going on. Now, she should have got her freaking, she should have got slapped. I said, yeah. That, that little evil spirit that came in there uh, yeah. with Tariq, don't rub yeah, it off She should have smacked the taste out your mouth. But I understand where Raina was coming from. Yeah. Y'all using us to help cover up y'all bullshit, but you won't tell me no truth. So, she goes to tell Raina about what's going on with Tariq that Tariq got kidnapped by Kanan, da 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 that everything is all right, um, y'all gonna be all right. But at the same time, she still really wasn't telling her the truth. Because mm -hmm. she was, she was asking, you know, did, did she ask that when they killed, did they kill anybody? I don't remember. I don't remember, I don't know if she asked. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't even matter. So she kind of gave Raina some half-truths after, after Raina cussed her out. So then we see... Pretty much at this point, Raina goes and talks to Tariq. It's later on in the episode, but we're going to talk yeah, about we'll it talk now. right now. We'll talk about it right now. So she going in there. She's trying to be like, hey, bro, mom and daddy is crazy. <laughs> Uncle Tommy crazy. We need to get together and get them convinced them to send us to this private school. 
Another school. Yeah, to another school so we can get out of Because you know what? They using us to keep up their image so that daddy won't go to jail. So if daddy goes to jail, all this penthouse stuff we got going here, your video games, all that's going to be over. We're going to be broke. <laughs> so Tariq was like, wait a minute. Um, I don't care. Everybody lies. Uncle Tommy, Tommy lied, my mama lied, daddy lied. I just don't care. And Raina turned into her mama, which I did not like. <laughs> because y'all know that when Ghost wanted to go straight, the first thing that Tasha said, if you go straight, this lifestyle here that we used to, going to be no more. Yeah. You know, we'll be able to be okay. But this ball of life, that's not yeah. what it's going to be about. Raina approached her brother with the exact same, same logic. thing. Yep. She was like, penthouse? You know, people driving us around? Yeah. Private school? Your little video games? You got a whole goddamn system going on up in here. Oh, we that's going to be over. Them. So in order for us to keep this up, we need to come up with a plan to go to another school and keep our A game on yeah. the lock. Uh -huh. I said, okay, wait a minute, Raina. You don't turn this to your mama overnight. <laughs> Bad and bougie. Bad and bougie. <laughs> yes, sir. She said, look, she said, I'm going to start getting my nails done and I can't turn back. Hey, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. That's, mm -mm. See, that's how their parents is always one step ahead to make sure that they come out on top. So I, I can't I can't knock the hustle right now. I can't knock it. But Tariq, he's so in his... He well, he high, because yeah. he's still drinking lean. He lean, yeah. He don't push his sister out, and basically, she don't fell asleep across the floor. I said, you know what, Raina? This is your opportunity to, to slap mm -hmm. the mess out of her brother. Yeah, do it. So, going a little bit backwards, then we, um, Raina told some some buys at the door to see y'all, and guess who it was? Stern. I said, why Stern over at the house? And Ghost was like, you know, why the heck you here? He said, you remember when we set up this meeting to talk about how we're going to set up this interview for your new image? He was like, oh, okay. So he was like, Stern was like, in order to do this, we're going to need you. We're going to need Tasha and the kids to get on camera to talk about you, basically. That, that you, this new man, you innocent. You get ready to start this new real estate thing, you know, because you're up and up standing uh, business person. You're a good man. Yeah, <laughs> you're a good black man with yeah. a good job. You're good. And Tasha was like, oh, hell no. Paparazzi has already done took pictures of my kids and got mm. them all tore up. No, I am not putting them on camera. So by and this I time, said, nope. Stern and Drag goes to the side was like, you know, we got to do this because this is when an opportunity might not ever come again. So this is your opportunity to get it straight. So I took the interview with the family for 200 Alex. Uh-huh. So he went to Tasha, hey, we doing this. So we see them at the interview. <laughs> All of them sit there looking crazy. They said they looking like the Harrison family. Yeah, it won't even. It didn't look real, not even a little bit. Tariq was sitting there like this. This is booze kid. The Rain baby was sitting there like this booze kid. The baby looked like it's booze kid. Look, the baby said, "You grabbed me from my grandma's house for this booze kid." <laughs> I was, over I, eating, I was over there eating gogurts, <laughs> eating my guy doing goldfish crackers, and you bring me over here for this bus game? I ain't been over here all year. Yeah. Y'all now... picked me up to take me to the jail, <laughs> now y'all picked me up to do an <gasps> interview. Take me back to my nana's house. Please. <laughs> Please take me back. So, the reporter started asking questions, asking ghosts, um, pretty much about the case. Um, that, you know, being innocent, he was like, I am innocent because pretty much... They fucked up. They tried to use evidence against me that was irrelevant. And so pretty much it got thrown out. But I'm still not in the clear. But I'm a good man. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this was the this was the question that I thought was going to end all the booze get. Mm -hmm. The reporter said, Tasha, why don't you have on your wedding ring? And we looked over that old Terry Silver. He said. He said. And I said, what does mm -hmm. that mean? Yeah, what that mean? Basically, he was like, listen. Be quick and know that you be recorded on everything. Uh huh. You on so record? Yeah. She she she, she got it together her, she real quick. She thought on her feet. She was like, oh, this what had happened was I sold that to get some money to make sure we can take care of all this bullshit that's going on. She because, didn't say it like that. Cause it's hard to defend an innocent black man. Yep. It costs a lot of money. I got a great legal team over there. Terry sitting over there like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's now me. I'm about ready to hit that. Yeah, because y'all know Terry wants to quit the case. Yeah, he don't want to work for Ghost no more. But Tasha said, well, if you're not going to represent Ghost for Ghost, please represent him for me. For well, me. She said James, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, Terry just creeps me out, y'all. Yeah. He creeps me out. 
So the reporter was started asking about the affair and Tasha was like, yeah, he had an affair, but we working through it. I we thought it was highly like inappropriate yeah. in front of the kids. Yeah, why did you ask some questions like that? And this is the part where you dismiss the kids and be like, you know, let's have some adult conversation. Respectfully, we're going to dismiss your kids. Mm -hmm. But you know, reporters, they don't care nothing about that. I said, kids. wait a minute. Now, if I was Ghost and Tasha, I'd be like, um, because we're in the presence of my children right now, no, this is not anything can't. they need to be um, privy to right now. Yeah. We will talk to them when the time is right about what has going on in our marital life. Mm -hmm. But right now, let's keep this about business, the future, and these future endeavors. Exactly. But they ain't do it like that. Because I actually thought that the interview was going to be kind of like staged. They're going to ask them the right questions to get the right about. answer. But, of course, it was real. So... They pull through it. They look fake. <laughs> yeah. They look all fake. I was I, like that. Yeah, he convinced me not not nail. Not L. <laughs> not L. Ghost was nervous. All of them was nervous. But Baby Seal ass. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Seal ass was nervous. <laughs> so, uh, Ghost tells Tasha that Stern wants me to, to throw a party at Truth. For myself. For myself. <laughs> so okay. So he went. And got her this the bomb ring. So I said, well, maybe Ghost is, you know, trying to get on back in, you know. I said, that rock is nice. And she even had a little, little uh, glisten in uh, her ass. Like, uh -huh. But as soon as he opened his mouth. Yeah. He explained and said, I got that so that at truth party, you can look the part. You know, since you, he said, he said, uh, bef how he said that thing? He said, before, before you made me a better criminal. Better criminal. But now you made, made me look like, like at the interview, you made me like a better man. Made me look like a better like man. A better, not that you made me a better man. You made me look, look like, like a, a better, better man. man. <laughs> and Tasha was like, she went from a back down to night. So we on this bull skit again. I said, wait a minute, go. She, that was your perfect opportunity to slide right on back in there. Because yeah. you sound like a changed man until you made this ring all about you once mm -hmm. again. And I said, I ain't even mad. I just won't. In a perfect world, I would want them to be together, but mm -hmm. um, because of all that bullshit, I say let's go. Just c cut your losses. Last night I took an L, but tonight I bounce back. Yeah, get over this case. Cause yeah. I don't want him charged for a case for for a crime he, he really didn't, didn't do. do. Yeah, you know, let's keep the family together and yep. let's and let's do it. So, pretty much, we see them over at the got them party, and our uh, ghost meets Rashad Tate. I said, go ahead and use your last name for real. I said, man, he's been showing up in a whole lot of stuff lately, though. I love Larissa. Tate. I still can't tell the difference between the dumb two brothers, man. I, they, I can. I, I can't tell the difference. They both look the same to me. I think I can. Put it that way. So he come over there. He said, I'm Rashad Tate. He said, I heard pretty much you getting into the real estate game. He said, matter of fact, he said, I got a project for you, man, over in my spot. He said, mess with yeah. Stern, going to get you Yeah, because mess with Stern, going to get you messed up. So he was like, if you want to do business, have my car. Give me a call. You know. <laughs> and Stern was, picked it. And Stern was looking the whole time. But what Stern was trying to do, let me back up a little bit. They was trying to change the freaking uh, the deal. Mm -hmm. So this other dude, I don't know who he was, was guess supposed to be heading this puppy. And because Ghost was like, yeah, because we're going to go ahead and we're going to fix up the hood. And he was like, no, the community. I said, oh, hell. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And so Ghost was like, uh, okay. Mm. I so, so we see Stern pull Ghost to the side. Was like, you need to leave Rashad Tate alone. He bad news. Well, Ghost said, well, what he was talking about sounded good to me. And he was like, after all, you ain't got no say in this. What we do? What? Cause you a freaking solid partner. <laughs> <laughs> and Stern was like, but, <laughs> but he ought to know that Stern is a sick and freaking snake, a crook. He, he you know, he gonna try to fun. change. Yeah, so he baited him into the deal, and then he's going to try to change it. Because I'm thinking this dude don't want to do the hood in New York. He probably want to go somewhere different. He want to go to the black neighborhood, not the hood. hood. Yeah. But the deal was, we're going to fix up the hood to make your image look better. Mm -mm. But but did you catch that um old girl, the reporter from the house, she looked over there at um Ghost and she said, Listen, that whole shuck of the job thing that you and your wife did, it was cute. Said. But she don't love you no more. Yeah. Said, mm -mm. I know she got her ring on and everything, and you know she's playing the part. But for don't even think for a minute I bought that. So I'm a skedaddle right now. 
because the people that you mingling with don't like reporters. But but look, I got my eye on you. Come on you, yeah. <laughs> oh. Here we go. And go, baby seal eyes was like, <laughs> why can't I catch a break right now? Yeah. No, I got Teresi calling me talking about so. Hey, you got three days. <laughs> no, that's talking said forty eight hours. Oh, you said four, I thought you said three days. Maybe so. he, maybe he did say three days. But <laughs> but Teresi was like, he said, listen, old man. Old oh, man, like, I got this. I got this. Click up. <laughs> He's a bill collector. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so the rest is that bill collector that, yeah. be, that be calling you and be like, look, listen, I want my payment and I want it now. Like, you made $9 an hour. You ain't got, yeah, you don't even up. have enough good clout to talk to skin. You know what? I ain't got time for your most kid. Beep. <laughs> so, we see Dre pulls up. No, we see Tommy pull up. Well, mm -hmm. Dre over at the warehouse. So, pretty much, this is Dre covering his tracks. Because we're trying to figure mm -hmm. out how in the heck he was going to be able to let Tommy know that Julio is dead without it tracing back to him. So he said, um, Julio set up this new premiere. He came over to where he told me to meet him over here. I've been calling for the last 24 hours. He hadn't been answering. So his car, right his here. car is right here. So they went and proceeded to go in the warehouse. And of course, they found Julio dead. Now, Dre, he didn't even respond. He was like, he didn't even was like, oh my God, man, he did. He was... Still he neutral. Like, and I was like, okay. Tommy was like, Tommy go, Tommy Julio? Was like, Julio? For real? Oh, man. And then he moved his head over and saw that the number was gone. He said, oh, this is a Toros Locos hit. Yeah, the, the Keto Taco Bell did this. <laughs> and so Tommy was like, we need to go pay them a visit. We need to make this right. And, and Dre was like, wait, wait. Huh? We, we, we don't got no time for this. You need a new distro. We ain't got time to build an ad in Craigslist. I'm your man. He said, Nick, my... Look, <laughs> I said, Nick, last week, somebody lost their goddamn yeah. mind. They said, you can't say skit. Well, you can't say, you know, I'm, I'm cuss. But you can say, nigga. I said, if you offended by that, you shouldn't be watching my Nah, movie. you shouldn't be watching Now, I movie. don't like using the word, but for this show, sometimes you just got to say it because that's what they say. Yeah. But I... You got to play the part. Yeah, on a, on a regular day, I can say ninja. I try to say ninja because I don't like the word myself. But yeah, I'm like, really? You want to go feel this because I said, nigga? Uh, Nigga. <laughs> so, but I love you though. Yeah. <laughs> so, Dre and I'm getting the distro spot the way he wanted anyway. That was his whole purpose yeah. of getting rid of Julio. Say, his body ain't even spot. cold yet. You, you want this new distro stuff. Yeah. And right then, I thought that he had caught it. Yeah, that he had caught it, but he didn't. He didn't catch so it. So, what do you think? <clears throat> yeah. So, he told um, Dre to set up a meeting with the uh, Taurus Locos, Tito Cockabell. <laughs> so, they had the meeting. And so they was like, Tom was telling them, say, why did you kill Julio? You know, we had that deal with Ghost. The Ghost paid to make sure he was covered. But I, he said, I know Ghost is out the game. But what y'all did was like, when what you call left McDonald's, and they didn't go and attack Wendy's. <laughs> that <laughs> ain't like, that part yet. That ain't that part yet? Mm -mm. No, that was the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. basically when they showed up over there with, yeah. the, with the 718 crew. Yeah. They had another dude basically take the fall. For, for, for what Big Ears Yeah, what he did. did. Yeah. Yeah, Big Ears sitting over there acting like he, 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 he wasn't the one who actually took Julio out. Yeah. Like, it was this guy. This guy was sitting there like... He was like, I didn't do it. But he, <laughs> but he, I guess he couldn't speak English. So, uh, he was trying to defend himself. And he was like, oh, he's just trying to defend his life. And Tommy took him out. Then Tommy turned the guy, turned the gun on Big Ears uh -huh. that really did it. And he was like, oh, what you trying to do? He said, hmm. You took one of mine. I'm going to go ahead and take you out, too. Yeah. And unless... dude was like, no, no, no. And then he said, you know what? Get me in front of the um, the Hermendez brothers. Yeah. Because we we got to talk. Because this deal that we had, and now y'all don't kill them Julio. Uh-huh. Oh, now I'll... we need to take more territory. Territory back. Yeah. And all of this. And dude was like, <clears throat> no, 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 no. You no. can't talk. He said, listen, I'm going to talk to him with you alive. Or, or with you dead. dead. Either, Either way, <laughs> shut up the meeting. Yep. I said, ooh. The guy looked at Dre like, and Dre was like, you bucked but up. But he fucked it up. He said, we both fucked up. Because I told you now to make it look like a uh, Lobo's uh, Taquito Cockle Bell <laughs> killing, which they did. So they had the meeting. I got to hit myself. They had the meeting. So he was talking to, him, to that dude. I don't even know why you want to talk about when they killed that dude with the coke 
and with the gold I gun. I think that was just to show the, show us that they was about that life. Yeah, I, I, I don't and that like took my the baby. Said, Yeah, it took the baby and let the baby see the mama get shot. Had yeah. a little blood on the forehead. <sighs> I said, Lord have mercy. But they that's too when, much on the show. It's too yeah, graphic. No, there's a lot of killing this season. Uh, so Tommy was like, you know, we need to make this thing right. We want, I want all of my territory back. Plus, we, we, we want the, your connecting uh, Los Angeles because what you, you call it? Spain? Yeah, we get ready to expand. And so they was like, well, uh, we need to think about it. He said, don't think too long. Don't think too long. He said, because y'all messed up. Because he said, you remember, y'all thought y'all killed Lobos, but you didn't. They was like, yeah, we did. He was he like, said, no. He said, he was still alive. I had to kill Lobos. So he said, I had you covered twice. And he said, you're able to freely go from, what was it, Mexico? Yeah, you, you can go across the borders. <laughs> Without any problems. Yep, because now me. Lobos is dead. Yep. So, you owe me twice. You owe me twice. And turned his back on and walked out. And walked out. I said, ooh, Tommy. <laughs> so Tommy got him, he got two ups on him now. He really do. Yeah, he got said, two ups on him. either they're going to give you what you want or they're going to try to kill you. Yeah, so I, don't think, I, don't think, I don't think they're going to try to kill him though because that's bringing too much heat on the organization. <laughs> on the what now? <laughs> on the organization. They're bringing too much heat on the organization. So then we got these goons again. John Mock talking to oh. Angela Sachs and uh, who? Angela Sachs Santa and Mike. Mike. Mm -hmm. Pretty much Mock. This name, just, we know why his last name is Mock because he was mocking them like, y'all ain't got no more jobs. Y'all duds. Matter of fact, anybody, any one of y'all need me to validate your parking? I was and like, he needs like, need his tail whoop. But, but I you, like what they uh, said though because yeah. they were like, look. You were the head of all of this. Mm -hmm. So why is it now that when the rubber he meets the road, you basically say, I'm out. Yeah. I'm going to keep my job. I'm going to solve the case. I'm going to put my cape on and I'm going to be all right. And he said, but I did like what he said. He said, I'm the new guy in town. Mm -hmm. So technically I was a privy to, to all of the, of the bullshit that was going on. So I'm able to float under the radar for the simple fact that I could say I'm blindsided. Yeah. I said, well, that was a quick thinking on your feet, but but, nah, but but it was still wrong. But when you got a captain of a ship, the captain, the captain got to go, go down, down with, with the ship. ship. Y'all looked at the Titanic, didn't you? Yeah, he 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 didn't get him on the life rash, man. He just, he stayed on there. Yeah. Yeah, so so at this point, put him as a make a long because they kept going back and forth. Yeah. Now they're trying to pin and just boost get on the black dude, Donovan. <laughs> I said, here we go. Every time you want to try to pin it on the black man, come on now. So we see Angela goes and meets with Donovan and say, you know what, something ain't right. Mm -hmm. When we came in there and told them to cut them security cameras off, I'm pretty sure something was caught because it, you know, because you got the private cameras that Ghost them had that he got from Milan. Mm -hmm. And then plus he had the ones, the regular ones in the that club he did. that he did. So Donovan was like, you know what, that sounds good and all. I need to keep this good desk job because I got to feed my whole family. I'm the, I'm the breadwinner. My wife at home, stay at home mom. So I need that cash. And she's like, well, me too. I'm like, you too? You ain't got no kids? This is you by yourself. You ain't catch what she was saying? She was saying that that I am a minority. Oh, and yeah. I send my money back to my family. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she was That's saying. That's what she was saying? Yeah. I caught it. So we see pretty much she came through. She, uh, He came through. He went and got the information, brought her back the files. Um, so... At this time, we see them over at Angela's going through the files. And I said, yes, they're going to find out the freaking truth. So they started going through there, and it was like, I don't see nothing yet. It's like, you know, they could you right there. And then they see the Joker go up on the stairs. It was like, who that? Then they zoomed it on there. They're like, is that Mike? I said, all right. So before we tell the next part, we see Mike, because Mike see that the heat is coming down on his, is getting closer and closer to him. Closer mm -hmm. and closer. So he's like, at this point, I know if they don't, they didn't say this, but he know that if they see that Donovan was nowhere near with the planting of that gun, it's he you. know you the Nixon line. So we see him going over there, he creeping again like he did on Greg, creeping over there, went and knocked on Donovan's door, and the daughter came out there, oh, daddy not here. He at work. He at work. You mean tell him that you stopped by? He's like, no, don't tell him I came over here. And I said, why did she say that though? Because... You know he had a desk job. So y'all know that his hours are basically nine to five. So if it's late at night and he's still working, you know he, he you out. know they you know they are looking and pointing their finger at you. <laughs> <laughs> so when they were looking at the tape, they seen him, they they said it was Mike. 
And by this time, I said it was Mike. There was a knock at the door. I said, oh, Mike, Mike is know. over there. He over there to take them out because he know pretty much by now. And Donovan, them out. Donovan Black. Yeah. Look, Angela ain't even catch that Donovan was like, who at the door? Like, who at the door? So he went to the door and it was got doing sax. And Hickel Sax said, you know what? Me and Mike been sitting down. You know, we've been talking. And we believe that freaking Donovan is the, the one mold. is the mole. And she said, Get the door open. Say hey. Hey. Oh, he said, Donovan. Did you, you, heard you, that? Did you hear that? He said, sure it is. She was like, come see this. <laughs> so we know that's gonna play probably next week. Yeah, so that's pretty much gonna gonna play out next week. So kind of skipping around. Then we see old Terry. I told you Terry got jealous when he saw the ring. So then we see them at the karaoke. So he's supposed to be so called a good singer. We didn't hear his vocals. Yeah, he can't sing. But God darn, Tasha, boy, you said she could sing. I didn't know she could sing. Mm -hmm. She was killing the song. They only let it play for like 30 seconds. But I was like, man, I could y'all should let her finish that song. Mm -hmm. But I said, Terry is three, four more steps close to getting that puss. And you guess what? He got it. Thank you so much. All we saw was Tasha Tedish. No, we but, already seen him. Yeah, we already seen him, but we ain't seen much. Thank God they're nice set. But I'm like, Dre ain't got no puss. Everybody don't got coochies. Terry, Ter Terry Silver the Creep got something before Dre. What's happening right I now? I don't know. And I was listening to The Breakfast Club, and Dre was like, that's probably why I'm so angry on the show. Because yeah. I ain't got none. <laughs> and then I said to myself, I said, listen. We have a love-hate relationship with Dre. I used to love me some Dre. Now I can't stand him. He got to go. But before he go, I do want to see him get some. For one, he's Nigerian. And I want to see his moves. Because I'll be seeing all the Instagram videos where he be freak nasty and on his spin bike and his glasses <laughs> and bullshit. head. So if you can do all that on a bike, I won't see. I won't see it. God darn it. Because so y'all know what I do. I won't, I won't see and I want to judge. Because at the end of the day... That guy doing Julio went out as the MVP. Yeah, he MVP. Yeah. yeah, he, he, he was the coolest it. dude on the show. Uh huh. He was the most loyal on the show. He he he. His stroke game was on everything. Yep. And then when it was time to go out, he ain't go out like no punk. Yeah. He fought and fought until they basically had to slice his guy down leg, leg to get to, it to slow him down. MVP. So what you got, Dre? Yeah, come through, <laughs> come through. Hey, matter of fact, cause you said they that um they thought they were gonna have twelve episodes on stars, but they only mm -hmm. have ten. This was number seven. So that's why it's so fast now. Yeah. But so that's what I was saying in the beginning. Everybody was like, you know, it's building, it's building, it's building. I don't need a builder. I don't need to feel like I'm in in the court system right now. Yeah. <laughs> I need to know that da da da. Let's move on. We had yeah. freaking almost four episodes. Of, of, ghosts, of in prison. Of baby seal eyes in jail. Yeah. We could have did all this good stuff mm -hmm. and, and spaced it out a little bit. Yep. So we got we got three more you got three more episodes to get some, Dre. I don't know what's gonna happen for you, but uh you got three more. Mm -hmm. uh, at least get you a freaking um a uh, tango job or something. A tango egg from Amazon. <laughs> Do something with that. <laughs> I know I did I did want to say this. That pretty much they are trying their best to pin this guy doing Greg Killing on somebody. And one thing that I can't stand about the law is when somebody get killed in their organization, they will go over All these hills lives. through the moon to get somebody convicted, even if they have to convict somebody that didn't do it. That's right. There's a lot of brothers and sisters up in jail right now for stuff they didn't do because it was somebody involved in law enforcement. But when it come down to you, if something happened to somebody in your family, we ain't got no new tips. No, we ain't got no new tips. We working on it. It's been two years and you're still working on it. So that's the only thing I don't like. So is at this point, they, they just throwing the blame at anybody they can do without no evidence. So that's what I don't like about them. But we on the last scene, pretty much. Ghost and Tommy, that they're talking uh, about their buck ups. <laughs> Ghost said, I messed up. I killed uh, Marshall in prison. He's like, you ain't been in there that long. Yeah, killed I killed Marshall. Marshall in there. And um, this dude, Tony, wants you to call him as a part of this deal so he won't rat me and you out. <laughs> Tom was like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. He was like, yeah, at yes, this point, do. yeah, he know who I am. And then Tom was like, well, I fucked. You know, Ghost said, you bucked up too because you killed the freaking Homeland Security dude, barely, because he heard the tape. So we need to figure all this bullshit get out. We done bucked up again. And we got to fix it. <laughs> and he said, what you need to do, 
you need to go over there and talk to um, Proctor. Yeah. Because we need to know if Proctor scrubbed his um his um, place clean. Yeah. Where the body? Yeah, because we don't know where the body at. Where the body at? And where's the tape? Where's the recording? Because at the end of the day, they gonna trace Bailey back to so, Proctor's house, mm -hmm. and you better hope to God yep. that he don't roll over on either one of us to keep his own self safe. Yep, because he ain't not lawyer no more. And I said, y'all gonna do Proctor like that? <laughs> hey. The way Proctor don't stood out and Man. look, Proctor went off. Yeah, he did. He went off for y'all. But then I said, you know what? When it come down to the game, it don't matter. Proctor was like, mm. Okay, yeah. uh, me, I got a daughter to look out for. I got family to feed. They depend on family me. to feed. And they say we know both of the parties dispersed. But before Ghost could even get to Proctor, who got to Proctor? John Ma. John Ma said, hey. How you doing? <laughs> he said, um, Bailey. Went through his phone records. The last person he talked to was you. We can't find him right now. So either he's not answering our calls or he's dead. And then I look, his cell phone pinged off the tower. That's right above really? your building. I was like, huh. Riddle me that. He said, listen, you need to go ahead and roll over on your clients. I mean, not your clients. <laughs> They're not your clients anymore. <laughs> but um, Tommy Egan and Jay St. Patrick, to go ahead and keep yourself out of all of this right yeah. here. And um, so did you see Proctor kind of get like, oh, skit. He goes back into his building, but who's across the street watching it all? In pure ghost fashion. Uh-huh. Ghosts. Yep. And I said, it's happening again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and Ghost is looking like. Hmm. But he had already told Proctor, say, you better scrub your place clean. Get it clean now. Get it cleaned again. Get it cleaned again. Oh. He said, what tape had destroyed? He looked at him like, destroy, destroy. Destroy it. Huh. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm watching that one. Yeah, we don't know. So we see Tommy sitting in a truck. And he called Tony. He said, I ain't got time for this bullshit. If this ain't about money, I got to go. So, Toretti, whatever his name is, Tony, started telling him, uh, what, did he, what did he say? I lost my train of thought that Who? quick. Um, Tony. Oh, Tony basically told him, he said, hey. He said, how my wife kind of looking? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. How my, <laughs> how, how my wife looks. He said, so she all right for a whole hang. <laughs> he said, she dying. She dying. She but, look terrible. You know, but. You know what, that. What's up? And he was like, you know, why you calling? Because if it ain't about money, don't call don't me. Don't call me. I'm busy. So he was like, you know, I don't mean to break this to you right here, but uh, I want you to come see me. He said, I ain't coming to see you. I don't know you. I don't know you like that. He said, you got to come see me because guess what? I'm your daddy. He said, I'm getting old and family means everything to me. He said, he said, you ain't my daddy. My daddy dead, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, no. He said, your, your, your mama, Karen. He said, I was into those redheads. He said, you know, I was with her back in the day when she was stripping. And Tom was like. He said, long legs. Long legs, you know. And, you know, the redheads. And Tom was like, oh, skip. This, he was looking like this probably is my daddy because he know he know my god don't mom and he know I'm in the red heads. Yeah, it's like mm. huh? And it went off, and it from went that. off like that. So we all had called it that. Yeah, that we was knew. His daddy. Yeah, we yeah. Now somebody had said, and I really think that this would have been a good spin if they had did it correctly. Somebody in my comments had said, "What if Teresa was Holly's daddy?" Yeah. That would have been a great spin. That would have been a good if spin. If they played it correctly. Yeah. And that he was going to get at him for killing my daughter. I know mm -hmm. my daughter's dead. Do things my way or yeah. be exposed. But it didn't go that way. Yeah. So now Teresa. But we did, we did again. We still don't know how it's going to play out. And we still don't know. That could have been the bait and switch. And then when he go to see him, he could switch and say, no, I'm actually Holly's dad. Right. That's yeah. what I said, too. Yeah. It could be just a way to get him down. So now he's sitting up in the goddamn car. He got it. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Tommy. You got a situation on your hands now. I said, Tommy though came back from Chicago and he got grimace on the ground. Yeah. His his dude that scrubs the money clean is dead. dead. Tariq is acting crazy. And he didn't even talk to ghosts about the money that was taken yet. But did y'all see? I don't mean to go backwards when um uh, when Tommy picked up Tariq down and when um Tommy said, How you doing, Tariq? You alright? And Tariq ran to him like he was daddy. He didn't even do that to Ghost. Mm -mm. 
And now Tariq don't know what to believe because he asked Tommy. Yeah. We didn't feel like going through all that, but he asked Tommy, you know, basically, I don't heard a whole bunch this week. Can you please confirm whether or not my mama and daddy and you were killers? Y'all killers? He said, listen, this is a conversation. Look, he went, he went Greenleaf on us. I mean, you know, Queen Sugar on us on this one. He said, listen, nephew, I love you, but that ain't my truth to tell. When yeah. you old enough, your mom and your pop's going to have a talk with you it. all about the lifestyle that we all live. And Tommy walked out his face like he said, you know what? I don't know who to trust no more. I don't know yeah. who good or who bad. But know? he ain't deny that they won't kill us, though. You can't deny it. He won't kill us. And I'm sitting here like, Tariq, let's go ahead and put two and two together. Your uncle, a white dude that walks around in the hardest part of the inner city. Yeah. Getting things done. You know he getting things done. Whenever you in trouble, he comes through for you. You you don't think he got some killer in him to be huh. able to do what he doing? Yeah, did giveaway. And and where your uncle work at? Yeah. I mean, you ain't never thought about that. We your uncle work at? Uh -huh. He don't go no nine to five, and all he do is wear freaking um leather jackets in the summertime. <laughs> Put it together. He buy a guy doing SUVs and cash. Yep. Have you ever seen a note? What you think he do? Huh. What you, what you think your dad to do when he brought clubs? I mean, this, yeah. Let me get in Tasha's tale real quick. Uh-oh. Everybody talk about somehow, you know, a lot of people is team Tasha. I'm team Tasha when it comes to the to the marital aspect, but mm -hmm. I want her I want her to leave ghosts and be done with it, but I don't want her to do it until after this is settled. But let me get into Tasha's tale real quick because when she gave her a silver song, yeah, she I'm went over to the house and she talking about some. If I had met you before I met Ghost, yeah, we probably could have been a good duo together. He said like BB and CC. She was like, not not no brother and sister, but together together. Hold on, Tasha. Wait Sorry, a minute. What? Wait a minute. So Terry Silva is a lawyer. He's a lawyer. You didn't want Ghost to go straight when he wanted to go into the club life, because that was too straight and narrow for you. Mm -hmm. But yet, yeah, you're very smitten by Terry Silva, the creep, and seem very supportive of his straight and narrow life. Man. But you want that for your husband? I think she, I think she's setting him up. You, 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 mm. you think, I think she, I think she got a, a end game. She, maybe her end game is to get under Terry Silva's skin, get in his emotions, He's going to represent her husband, mm -hmm. but truthfully, he's going to want to see her husband go down because I want your wife to myself. Hmm. So if you in jail, what you going to do, player? But you still well, forgot you got crazy Tommy out here in these streets. Indeed so. <laughs> uh -huh. So I'm like Tasha. You don't want your husband to go straight. But you talking about you want this man right here. But, yeah. but you want a liar? Huh. I'm done. Yeah, we done. This went a little bit longer than we expected to it go. because the episode wasn't all that good to me. Um, but, uh, I watched it while I was good talking uh, eating pieces. my breakfast. Yeah, good talking pieces, though. But uh, straight from the VA. The dirty dirt south. Two up, two, two down. down. Holla.